Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be sharing my interview experience at IIT Hyderabad with technical as well as HR part. And apart from this, you will find videos of my PhD interview experience at IIT Bombay and IIT Madras. So please check out those videos. Link is in the description box. Now, IIT Hyderabad's interview was bit of different than the other institutes. They had more focused on the technical plus HR part. So during whole interview, there were one person from the HR department, and he was asking me question apart from the technical part, like kind of HR questions. Also, document verification method was different here compared to other institutes. So it was an online interview, and one hour before. my interview they started document verification process and after completion of this process they had provided link of the interview for joining google meet in slot so my interview was in organic chemistry panel and i'll share all the details of the technical part and uh, at the end i will share about the hr questions and what was my answer to those questions so please watch this video till the end So after joining the Google Meet, I greet them and they ask me for the introduction. So I started introducing myself and uh, to know about this thing in more details, please check out my other video on the introduction part. Link is in the description box. After introduction and all things, one of the professors started asking me about my masters. He asked me that tell me about your master syllabus and what exactly you have studied in your masters. So I started answering his question. I told him about my master subjects as well as the type of practicals which I had performed in my masters. Then he asked me that what type of books you have referred to qualify this national level exams like it and especially for organic chemistry i replied that for organic chemistry basics i have referred cladden then he said okay and apart from the cladden any other book i answered that yes sir i have also referred carothers for the organic chemistry reactions then he said okay good and uh, started asking me about the organic reactions he asked me that do you know about the new carbon carbon bond formation reactions so his question was from the carothers because it is the first chapter of this book so i replied him that yes sir i know about this type of reactions then he asked me that what exactly this type of reactions is and give me some examples so i answered that in this type of reactions generally at the end of the reaction new carbon carbon bond formation is taking place which was not present in the starting compound and examples of this reaction are aldol reaction diels alder reaction addition of grignard reagent to carbonyl group hack reaction michael addition reaction wittig reaction etc then he asked that could you tell me that what type of reagent is used in grignard reaction i said yes sir in the grignard reaction generally rmgx means alkyl magnesium halide is used as a reagent then he asked that how can you prepare this reagent i answered that reaction of magnesium metals with alkyl halide then he asked that what type of solvent is used in this reaction i said generally ether especially diethyl ether is a suitable solvent for this preparation then he asked that why only this type of solvent is used why not other solvents like water and alcohol i answered that ether is non polar or protic solvent whereas water and alcohol are polar protic solvents so water and alcohol show side reaction or acid base reaction with grignard reagent and they'll not give desired product then he asked that tell me about the side reaction and what would be the product of that reaction i answered that when water is used as a solvent then it protonates the grignard reagent and destroy it completely by forming hydrocarbon as a side product because grignard carbon is highly nucleophilic in nature then he said i am giving you this three compounds and tell me about its reactivity order with grignard reagent so he gave me this three compounds alcohol ketone and aldehyde then i answered that as i said earlier alcohol shows acid base reaction with grignard reagent and generally acid base reaction is faster compared to other reactions so alcohol is most reactive out of these three compounds and in case of aldehyde and ketone we can decide their reactivity on the basis of their electrophilicity grignard reagent is highly nucleophilic in nature so it will react faster with more electrophilic or electron deficient carbonyl now generally carbonyl of aldehyde is more electrophilic than the ketone because carbonyl of ketone is attached to two alkyl groups which makes ketone more electron rich by showing plus i effect and that's why aldehyde reacts faster with grignard reagent than the ketone and therefore reactivity order of this given compounds is something like this after that hr person started asking me questions so his first question was that why do you want to do a phd now everyone has different reasons to pursue a phd so i answered what i honestly think of phd and what fascinated me to do a phd so i answered that i am a type of person who is always curious about how what where and why when i think of a phd then the first word that comes in my mind is challenges yes phd is something in which i will face new challenges every day and through those challenges i will learn something new every Every day, I love to deal with the challenges and finding their solutions, and these things makes me more curious about my next step. And if I talk about especially organic chemistry, then whenever I come across any unknown organic reactions, then that makes me more curious about their mechanism, reagents, and type of the product form. And I spend quite a lot time for finding their solutions. So I want to do this thing practically, and by doing this thing, I want to contribute something new to society. And these things fascinated me to pursue a PhD. Then he asked that if you get selected here, then you will take that offer or not. I said yes, sir. I'll definitely take that offer, and that's why I'm. currently giving this interview after that one of the professors asked me that why are you interested to pursue a phd from iit hyderabad so i replied that so i have visited the group page of all the professors of iit hyderabad and i found that they are 
experienced and their publication is quite good with high impact factors. Apart from this, their research area attracted me the most because it aligns well with my area of interest. So if given a chance, then I will definitely take that chance. Then he asked that what are your future career goals? I replied that I want to pursue a PhD and after completing my PhD, if given a chance, then I will surely pursue a postdoc degree in order to enhance my knowledge further and contribute something to society with what I have and then look to solve the real world problems in my domain. And that's how my interview was ended. So after my interview, I received a call from HR person and he was confirming all the things like if you get selected here, then are you sure you are able to join here right after your selection? I replied that yes sir, I'll definitely join right after my selection and then he was asking me similar kind of questions and I answered all of his questions. Now taking admission is a different thing and that's your personal choice but during interview you have to convince them that you are eager to join their institute through your answers. So before your interview make sure that you'll make list of the questions that might be asked and be ready with the answers. This thing helps you to increase your confidence. So that's all about my PhD interview experience at IIT Hyderabad and I hope it has anyhow helped you to solve your queries. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.